Okay. Hi, everybody. This is Dion Audain with Talent Is Your Business, answering questions from working actors about working as an actor. Today, I want to talk about being car free in Los Angeles or whatever city you happen to be in. So far, it's been about six months here in LA and I do not own a car of my own. However, I've had to get around. What I've used in no order of importance, really, um, Zipcar, Uber, Lyft, Sidecar, the bus, the train, riding a bicycle, borrowing my roommate's car, and walking. Uh, let's start with Zipcar. Zipcar is like Airbnb, but for cars. Oh, and there's relay rides too. So Zipcar and relay rides is a little bit similar. Zipcar is a company and they have cars placed throughout the area. So if you go to zipcar.com, you can put in a location or address and you can see where Zipcars are located. It does require a membership with a card um, and you can rent a car by the hour or for the day. So here it's about nine to 13 an hour or about 67 or 77 for the day. And there are all sorts of makes and models. Relay rides are through private owners. So for example, if I had two cars and one I wasn't using that much, I can put it on the relay rides website and someone could pretty much borrow it for however long they want, and then bring it back. And those are great options. There's also, I forgot to mention, um, car to go which is a smart car rideshare service. So again, Zipcar, Relay Rides, and car to go kind of all work in a similar way. The other one is Uber. We all know about Uber. Um, some people have a love-hate relationship with it. I use it a lot, especially when I've been going back and forth to physical therapy or the doctors or auditions or when I can't get a ride from a friend or use any of the other options. So Uber, Sidecar, and Lyft all work in a similar fashion where it's through an app on your phone. You put in a start location and an end location and it will show you how many cars are around, what's the estimated time of arrival for a vehicle to pick you up. You can even estimate how much your ride is going to cost so there's no surprises at the end where you know you don't you're, you're you have a large bill um and with uber and with lyft and with sidecar especially with lyft you can um do ride share options so it's called lyft line where you can opt to share a ride with another person and receive about a 45 percent discount and i love using that part of lyft because my rides tend to be cheaper and i've never had to really share a ride with anyone um, sidecar, same option. And then the bus and the train, I use Google Maps extensively. And so there's always an option, you know, taking the car, taking a public transportation route, walking or biking. And so if you choose the option of public transportation, it'll tell you what buses you can take to transfer and what trains and how long it's going to take. So, you, you know, you have to have some familiarity with where you're going, but if you don't, Google's been pretty dependable on getting me from point A to point B using only public transportation. And of course, riding your bike, safety first, always wear a helmet, have lights on the front and the back of your bike, um, and have a proper way to secure your bike. And I've even done, gone as far as taking my bike seat with me if I park at the metro station um, and then take the train to come back. So that way, you know, my seat stays protected and maybe it'll lessen the chance of somebody wanting to take my bike without a seat. Well, that's all for now. I'm going to include links below and referral codes because if you use a referral code, you'll get a free ride and I will too or driving credit. Thanks for watching you guys. And remember, talent is your business.